wow, things are really heating up between Putin and NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And let me tell you why this matters in terms of Bible prophecy. Both the books of Ezekiel and Daniel make clear that there will be a king from the north who will be a part of a massive invasion on Israel in the end times, setting up the stage for the Antichrist reign during the Great Tribulation. This king from the north, Russia, as we take it to be, will most likely be unified with Iran, the Sudan, Turkey, and Libya for this battle of Gog and Magog. And the Antichrist will have a Western Confederacy. He will strike a deal, a peace treaty with Israel, with nations of the West, probably part of Europe. And if the United States is around, maybe the United States, but he will have a Western Confederacy. And these nations of Gog and Magog will try to come in and attack Israel while the Antichrist has a peace treaty with them and Israel seems secure. So I find it very interesting, these headlines. Putin has pulled out of a nuclear arms reduction agreement with the United States. He says he did so because of the United States and because of the nations of NATO. Putin also said that he plans to bolster Russia's ties to India, Iran, and other countries in the Middle East, which we would expect to happen as the nations of Gog and Magog begin to assemble. Nations of NATO, their alliance has strengthened and as we can see, NATO has bolstered its troop presence in Europe. NATO has actually been growing. Here's a map of NATO nations over there in the European Asia area from 1990. And here's one from 2022. You see, Putin does not like this alliance of Western and European nations because they will be the ones who come together and help Antichrist in the peace treaty with Israel. And Russia will be one of the leaders of the Battle of Gog and Magog who attempts to come in and destroy Israel, coming against all those countries who have declared this peace treaty with the Antichrist. Since so much is moving into place for this battle of Gog and Magog, you better be ready for the rapture of the church.